There she is. Element 19 inch TV from Walmart. I just installed this last night in my RV because the one that I had in this corner, if you recall from my first video, was entirely too small. <clears throat> I ran the cable uh, through a splitter over here. I'm going to add an, a second antenna. Anyhow, here's the Element 19 inch TV from Walmart. I wanted one of the key things I wanted, and just incredible. TV uh, told me in one of his videos he mentioned that he used Chromecast and he mentioned that you can get these um, these TVs that are 12 volt powered LED TVs and so I went I was at Walmart and I noticed I was looking at these TVs and I, I wasn't expecting to buy a TV but I noticed this what does that say? DC 12 volt right there. So I noticed that it said DC 12 volt and I thought to myself, huh, but it has a plug in. And then I recall that just incredible had said that lots of things run off of 12 volts. And if you just cut the power cord, the power plug off and you basically plug it into the back of the TV, cut the power brick off, strip the wires and wire it directly into your 12 volt setup which is exactly what i did now i have a power converter that's a smart charger that feeds really nice clean power to all of my 12 volt stuff here it is wait a second let me see if i can get a light in here okay um so there it is, wired in. I don't have the wires run yet. See the TV wires are those blue ones right here that are sticking out and kind of looping across this way? Those ones, I need to route. I just have it hooked up temporarily to feed power to it to see how it's gonna, gonna perform and everything. And so far, so good. This is, the brand name is Element from Walmart. And you can turn it on here and See what we got going on. There we go. This thing uses like no power at all and it's huge inside the RV. There we go. Now what I have here is for a speaker is this Avio unit. You see it's a battery powered unit because the speakers on the TV aren't that hot. Here, let me turn it up and see. Oh, I have no sound now for some reason. Oh, I have no sound because it's the, um, this, this speaker is hooked up right now to the uh, headphone jack. So it's uh, naturally, it's going to cut the sound down. So what you do is you plug this headphone jack into here like so. I'll set this on the counter. Boom. Turn it on. That would help. Of course, this is a species from Australia, but it lives right here at Ocean Voyager here at Georgia Aquarium. And right now, Very loud. what Lex is doing is assessing its reproductive status, basically trying to see if it's pregnant or not. And so what do we see in there? Pregnant? We're seeing some active ovaries, so probably yeah. soon. Turn it way down here. Anyway, that's extreme. That's very loud. Uh, but I use it because the TV is not very loud. Now I can also, I, run, I have a headphone jack cord. I, I know Just Incredible uses a FM, um, an FM tuner, or an FM, what do you call it, tuner thing that he then tunes his radio, his stereo system to that. I might do that because he's pretty smart and I've got a lot of tips from him in the past. But right now I have I actually have a super long headphone jack cord that will come all the way over here um, that I used for a different project. So there we go. There's that. So now the front has no TV up there, but I can pull this down now He's a lot easier than before. There's See, there's a bunch of supplies and tents and stuff in there. And some awesome 70s shag carpet. I may put a tab mount a tablet up right here in this corner for my son. Uh, we'll see. He's spoiled, so I may not. I don't know. We'll see. 
But anyway, there she is. Now I'm going to do the uh, Chromecast thing and I'll uh, report in on how I go. Well, I actually, let me open the Chromecast now. There's, I have time. So, hold on a second. I'm not very good at making videos yet, so bear with me. All right, there we go. There's the Chromecast. Okay. So it appears it comes in <clears throat> a plastic thing. I can pop it out from the back here. Okay. Do it with one hand. All right. So there's the Chromecast, and oh, it's got a little sticker on there that covers up the. That is a micro USB. You probably can't see it very well, but micro USB. Then it's got a power cord. Well, that's oh, okay. So you take this power cord and you pop this USB. That's a, just a brick. You pop this USB thing off, and you plug this into the back of your TV, where it has a USB hole port, which is right there. That powers the Chromecast, so you don't need to run another power line. That's freaking nice. Most modern day TVs now have this, have a USB. And this is an optional bendy thing. Okay, so imagine that you have your TV and um, this is, a, see, this is your HDMI and then into HDMI. It's like an extension cord, basically. Imagine you have your TV and it's really big and close to the wall and your Chromecast would stick out like this. Well, you don't want your Chromecast if it if your thing is if your if your HDMI plug is oriented this way, the Chromecast will cause the TV to stick out, right? So what this thing does is it, it makes it bend. See, so you can have your Chromecast come out and come down, and you could stick your Chromecast in in oriented this direction, like this. Mine doesn't have that problem because my Cords are actually oriented in the downward position anyway. So it should fit just fine. Let's test fit it now. HDMI, there it is. Let's see if it'll fit. Yep. Oh, it just barely fits. See that? So the Chromecast will fit in here. Oh, and then see, here's a little spot. So. The USB will go in here and then go like so. Okay. Bam. This will go into here like so. That's awesome. So Chromecast. I am now Chromecast enabled. I will show you later how this works. All right, it's Adventures with Pete. See you soon.